Bay Area. Part of Highway 1 is shut down after the scenic roadway collapsed. In Big Sur, California, the iconic Pacific Coast Highway is disappearing, slowly but surely, into the ocean. Due to continued cracking occurring at the repair site, uh, at repairs to Highway 1 at Regent Slide, those repairs will not be complete. Stranded locals, tourists and businesses often face the consequences of landslides and rising sea levels, with this road constantly crumbling. Actually, I was enjoying this beauty and I was hoping on my way home I can enjoy more of this, but unfortunately there's a closure so I have to... But how did we get here? And what does the future hold for this historic highway? We continue to monitor to make sure the, the slope is safe. In this video, we'll dive into the struggle to keep this 100-year-old landmark intact and explore the innovative solutions that might just save it from being lost to time. The vast quantity of, of debris that came down in this event is not something that is uh, frequent by any means. Keep watching to learn how engineers are fighting nature to preserve this scenic route. In the rugged coastal stretch of Big Sur, around 1,600 people recently found themselves stranded when the road was closed. While inconvenient, this isn't an unusual situation. For nearly a century, this highway has faced a continuous battle against the forces of nature. The fact that it's still standing and functioning today is truly remarkable, but there's an undeniable reality. This iconic road may eventually be overtaken by the ocean. Known officially as State Route 1, this highway is more than just a road. It's an experience, offering one of the most scenic drives in the world. Often called the Pacific Coast Highway or Roosevelt Highway, it stretches along the western edge of North America, offering sweeping views of the Pacific. You may also know it by its other names, Cabrillo Highway, named after the explorer who sailed this coastline in the 1500s. Construction began in 1919, and despite the challenges of building a road along such treacherous terrain during the Great Depression, the project was completed in 1937. It became an instant marvel, a symbol of American resilience, and was celebrated as one of the engineering wonders of its time. Upon its grand opening, it was even hailed as a future destination for tourists from all over the country. However, from the very start, the highway had its share of issues. Its construction through unstable coastal land meant that sections of the road would, over time, tumble into the ocean. Over the decades, more than 50 temporary closures have been recorded due to landslides, mudflows and wildfires. Though the road is frequently repaired, it feels as though these fixes are just temporary solutions, because no matter how much effort goes into maintaining it, the road keeps crumbling. One day, the relentless forces of nature will likely claim it entirely. Some roads in highway history have faced significant challenges, and California's Coastline Highway is no exception. In 1983, Malibu was hit by a devastating landslide that destroyed over 250 homes, with many either collapsing or sliding off their foundations. This picturesque region is breathtaking, but it's also prone to instability. Rumors suggest that the highway has rarely stayed open from north to south for more than a year since its opening. Something always seems to disrupt the path. While exact figures are hard to pin down, it's clear that traveling the full length of the highway today is nearly impossible, with constant road closures and landslide warnings. Along the highway, signs like landslide area or rockfall ahead are all too common. When these warnings turn into actual events, the damage is always severe, whether it happens above or below the road. One of the most notable incidents occurred in 2017, when the largest landslide in California's history hit near Mud Creek. A massive stretch of land, about 1,300 feet long, was buried under 40 feet of rocks and dirt, weighing more than a million tons. This landslide caused permanent instability, forever changing the region's coastline. The scale of this damage was unprecedented. Officials were uncertain when, or even if, the highway would reopen. On top of that, the state had already faced costly repairs from one of its rainiest winters in decades. By the time the dust settled, the cost of repairs had soared into the billions. Landslides and storm damage have only become more frequent, pushing highway closures to happen more often. 
Since 2009, California's Department of Transportation has spent over $400 million on nearly 50 repair projects. In 2021 alone, storm-related repairs cost $11 million. A major closure in 2023 is expected to set the state back by $88 million. The financial burden is heavy, with millions of drivers relying on the highway every year. At one point, there was even talk of making the highway a toll road to help cover these costs. While it wouldn't fully solve the problem, it could help ease the financial strain on the state. Unfortunately, there's no easy solution. Government planners admit that constant repairs are the only option for now. Moving the highway isn't feasible due to steep cliffs on one side and mountains on the other. Plus, the highway is a beloved landmark, famous for its breathtaking views. Moving it inland could involve tunnels, robbing travelers of those iconic vistas. Instead, the focus is on stabilizing the road and the slopes around it. Massive screw anchors are being used to secure the rocks, and sprayable concrete fills in the gaps to make the road more secure. In some areas, innovative solutions have already been implemented. For example, at Gleason Beach in Sonoma County, a section of the highway was moved 400 feet inland to avoid the eroding coastline. This adjustment has made that section far more reliable, even in the face of rising sea levels. While the road still faces challenges, these efforts aim to make it safer and more sustainable for the future. The transformation of this area is driven by the effects of climate change. It all began with the creation of the Sea Level Rise Adaptation Agency, following the collapse of oceanfront homes during the harsh winter of 1998. Over time, the rising shoreline began threatening the southbound lane of the highway. Efforts to repair the damage started in 2004, but ultimately the lane had to be moved further inland. This was a smart decision. With rising sea levels, stronger storms, and fierce winds eroding the cliffs at a rate of 14 inches a year, the highway was no longer safe. Now, that stretch is secure and free from the risks it once faced. Another notable case occurred after the 2021 landslide in Big Sur, where advanced technology helped prevent future problems. A massive new drainage system was installed, designed to last for generations. With additional culverts and backup pipes, this system will keep the road clear of water and debris, unlike the old system, which couldn't handle the extreme weather anymore. The outdated culverts were blocked by debris, causing floods that washed parts of the highway away. The new system, complete with larger pipes and trash collectors, is a much greener solution to the issue, even if it came a bit late. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. In July 2023, Santa Monica successfully moved a giant rock that was threatening the Pacific Coast Highway. A crack in the cliff above the highway had been caused, in part, by the storms from the previous year. Engineers and geologists worked together to remove 4,000 cubic feet of dirt, preventing it from falling onto the road. It's a perfect example of how we're adapting to climate change. But what if we simply stopped using the highway? There are alternative routes, like Highway 101, but they lack the scenic views that make the Pacific Coast Highway so iconic. While practical, Highway 101 mostly offers fields of vegetables, not breathtaking coastlines. So even though other routes exist, they aren't nearly as enjoyable for a road trip. What makes the Pacific Coast Highway so remarkable is not just the stunning views, it's also what you don't see. Unlike many highways, you won't find ugly buildings, old shopping malls, or endless gas stations blocking your view. This allows the highway to maintain a rare, untouched beauty, making it one of the most unique and scenic areas in the US. However, there's a growing concern. The highway is slowly slipping into the ocean. The reason? A combination of factors, with climate change playing a big role. The highway's location makes it especially vulnerable. Climate change is causing more frequent landslides, and rising sea levels, stronger storms, and wildfires are all speeding up the natural process of erosion, making the road less stable. The land itself contributes to the problem. The area where the highway runs is geologically young, with shifting earth that mixes hard and soft rocks. This constant movement creates an unstable environment for building. 
The steep mountains are also affected by rain, wildfires, and ocean waves, making the situation even more unpredictable. The challenge is tough, and there's no easy solution. As the landscape continues to erode, highway closures are likely to become more frequent, especially with bad weather and summer fires. Experts predict that by 2050, erosion could take away up to 18 inches of land each year. By 2100, this could rise to 55 inches. If nothing changes, the highway might eventually be swallowed by the ocean. Big Sur, a popular tourist spot, relies on the highway for access. Its quiet redwood forests, breathtaking beaches, and sweeping ocean views attract visitors from all over. While some locals appreciate the occasional closures for the peace and quiet, they come with serious consequences. When the highway shuts down, emergency services are limited, and everyday life becomes a struggle. Trips to the hospital become more expensive, children face longer walks to school, and even grocery deliveries may need to come by helicopter. Local businesses, such as hotels and restaurants, suffer, and the state loses millions in tourism revenue. In 2023 alone, the Central Coast brought in $9 billion from travel spending. When the highway was closed due to a landslide in 2017, the state lost over $580 million in tourism revenue. Even if the highway doesn't end up submerged, closures still isolate local residents, impacting their health and livelihoods. Some argue that this area should never have been developed, as it might have prevented many of these ongoing and life-threatening issues. Erosion can be deadly. Mudslides and crumbling rock beneath the surface can weaken concrete, causing roads to collapse and creating deadly accidents. Imagine a sudden road failure that sends cars plummeting from high cliffs into the ocean below. Now, let's focus on one of the most dangerous roads, the Blood Alley. Over the past decade, this stretch of the Pacific Highway has seen 49 deadly crashes every week. Thousands of travelers pass through here on their way to breathtaking destinations, yet the road remains a hazard. To shine a light on its dangers, a crowdfunding campaign funded a documentary that reveals the shocking statistics. 400 accidents annually, with 17 deaths and over 630 injuries since 2015. It's terrifying. What's behind these accidents? Experts blame two main factors. The flood of tourists eager to take in the views and the lack of proper safety barriers along the road. The Pacific Coast Highway faces a constant battle against nature, but efforts to preserve it are relentless. While its future remains uncertain, the dedication to keeping this iconic route intact is unwavering. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more stories on the world's most incredible landmarks.